Hello, welcome to my third devlog video for this uh, currently untitled Kijimin game. Uh, I've been working on character creation and that whole UI deal. It's quite extensive and I'm going to cover a little bit of it now. It's not complete. I want to save room for a full in-depth video uh, for the fourth devlog, uh, assuming it's done. Uh, in a week or so. But this is what I have now. Um, for the first page, it's backgrounds. So the player gets to choose between one of ten uh, uh, backgrounds for their character. Um, I have a scroll menu set up here. So a player can cl click on each option and uh, read what the bonus to that background is. So I'm going to go ahead and select one and then confirm that selection. And there's a cool little effect here uh, showing it selected. Then we have the home city. And then that's selected. Then we have professions that are available. And for advantages, the player chooses multiples of them. So they have to select of the long list of advantages that are available to them. So uh, here, uh, uh, when rolling the result of a negotiation event, add uh, plus one to the result to a maximum of 20. So it's showing that uh, you, you learn the, the rules just reading uh, these for the most part. Um, and we'll cover those in depth at a later time. Let's go ahead and select that. Goes on to the next page for disadvantages, where it's the same thing. Choose disadvantages for your character. And uh, there are things that will modify the amount of advantages and disadvantages the player can get. Then uh, there's a cause. So I can choose to ally myself with Kai Jimin or the Orisai. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Orisai. Then I can choose companions to uh, tag along on my adventure. So get a couple of those. There will be allies. Um, so you can choose one, any nation in uh, the world of Una. So there's this one. There you go. Um, looks like I have too much text here. So I need to fix that. But go down here. Choose another enemy. Choose an enemy. And choose your uh, your transports. I don't have any renown to buy any transports. Um, and I, I don't actually have it set up. I don't have any of the stats set in. It's just uh, a, a basic rubric for the uh, way the UI is going to function. And then I have small equipment. So select six of these. You'll be able to select the same one more than once once I have the... Uh, yeah, part of the UI setup, but for now, just set to six. So you're gonna continue. Do the same with large equipment. Got two of those, and uh, get a powerful artifact. I can choose from. Choose solvency, and then um, this will uh, be a different looking page. I haven't laid this one out yet, but the game will automatically roll three gem in for the player. And the player will have the option to re-roll them uh, based on how many re-rolls they have available. Well, yeah, that's it. Uh, it's a quick one. But that's what I've done over the last week is uh, set up the framework for the character creation portion of the, of the game. Well, thank you for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye.